you get me what's good everybody it's your boy Lario. welcome back to another video thank you so much for joining me today it's gonna be real quick i want to show you what i do to my finished beats instead of mastering so in this video i'm talking about beats that i'm going to be sending out to artists putting on my beat store putting up on youtube etc so with that being said we're going to hop right into this video first i want to give a quick word for my sponsor distrokid so real quick i want to talk about a couple of different ways you can promote your music with distrokid once your music is out and live, you can go to this goodie section. You can scroll down here to go to promo cards. You could choose the release, generate promo cards. Now you can see here you have fully generated promo cards for Instagram stories, for Snapchat stories, TikTok, etc. You can pick and choose any one of these for your release, quickly download them and start promoting your music. Another one is mini videos. You can see all these different types of templates you have here. You could put your album art in the middle. You could choose a song, generate mini video. As you can see, a nice video fit for Instagram stories, Instagram reels, TikToks, etc. Now I'll top back into the video. All right, so we're back. I have this beat and you can see in this channel right here in the master channel, I do not have anything on my master channel. First thing I'm gonna do is go to the loudest point in the beat. Loudest point in the beat, meaning a section in that beat that has all the sounds or most of the sounds in. So that means like kick, 808, all your synths. Go to that section and loop it. Give it a listen. It's only peaking at around like negative seven, which is good. But if you send this beat out to artists or if you put it on your beat store, it's gonna be really low compared to everything else. So say if an artist that you're trying to get a placement with is going through a bunch of beats and somebody's is hitting at zero and yours is hitting at negative seven, they might just skip over it because it's just too low. It's not hitting the speakers right. So what I like to do is get my beats close as possible to zero without clipping, without ruining the dynamics of that beat. So yeah, on that master channel, we're good, we're not clipping, we're at negative seven. So on slot nine, second to last, I put the Fruity Soft Clipper. And then on slot number 10, which I make sure is dead last, is the Fruity Limiter. So in this Fruity Soft Clipper, I'm just gonna hit play on the beat. I'm gonna adjust the threshold, pull that threshold down, so we're doing some soft clipping. This is gonna ensure that we don't lose any of the dynamics in the kicks or the 808s. Then after I adjust that threshold to a point where I like it, it still sounds like it hits hard. Now I'm gonna bring this post up, and while I'm bringing the post up, I'm gonna be looking at the limiter in the fruity limiter to watch these peaks to make sure nothing's getting crushed too much. So we're gonna bring that post up. So it's pretty loud right there. Adjust the threshold just a little bit more. So it still sounds like it's hitting. Now we can see our master. It's almost hitting at zero, which is pretty loud. It's pretty much like where I like to keep it. But if you need to give it just a little bit more, and you can see these tiny little peaks here. You don't wanna see too much more than that, by the way. You don't wanna see these big peaks. So say if you sell this beat as a wave or an MP3 lease, and it's crushed like that, right? Somebody buys that beat and it's super, super crushed. There's like no dynamic left. They take it into their session with their engineer. They record over it. What they're doing is putting a final master on your beat that has no room to breathe, really. I think it needs just a little bit more. So I'm gonna boost the gain just that tiny bit. Again, don't ruin those dynamics. Yeah, so that's good. I like where that's sitting right now. Uh, let me show you one extra plug. I remember earlier I said two or three plugins. Sometimes I like to throw an EQ on the first slot. So the first thing that this beat is gonna be hitting is this equalizer. This is just my voice, by the way. First thing I do on here is I turn this down all the way to get a nice hard shelf. Same thing on the high. And then on these lows on the one band, I'm gonna cut everything up to about 25 to 30 hertz. Anything below there gets super muddy, and that's pretty much it on the low end. On the high end, I'll cut everything up until about like 17K. So anything that's super piercing and super sharp will get trimmed down just a little bit. Again, we're not doing any surgical EQ, nothing crazy subtractive EQ wise. This is just for beats. If you're working on EDM music, you're gonna want a final master. And you know, if you're sending these beats out to artists, this is, you know, this is a good idea to try. Again, personal preference, try it out. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and what you do on your beats that you're sending out to artists and your beat stores. That being said, that's gonna do it for this one. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Make sure you hit that link down in the description to get 7% off DistroKid right now and share this with a friend if you get me.